Hi everyone, um, we are The Wages. We were in Us Creates this weekend and we are here to present the cultural chefs. Uh, there, are more than, there are more than 200 different nationalities living in London and a lot of cooking programs on TV. So we get inspired by a lot of exotic dishes. So what if you could prepare your own spicy session eggplant with tofu in your own kitchen? But do you know which ingredients are involved or where can you find them? What if you could watch this dish being prepared online and have all the ingredients delivered to your door in just one click? What if they came from your local farmers? So meet cultural chef. So we deliver <coughs> uh, boxes full of flavors from uh, many different cultures. Um, the idea is that we deliver food that you can actually cook. Because sometimes you don't know how to, what to do with these ingredients. We deliver food and the recipes and the steps and the videos. So each week we choose a theme. <coughs> so next week could be China. The next one could be Mexico. So um, these boxes we're going to be carefully uh, prepared with all the ingredients, the recipes, and also with some of the stories or history behind the ingredients. So you can learn about the culture, about the ingredients as you cook. And we really think that finding this knowledge is, is really a treasure. So basically next time that you remember that, oh, what's great being in Nepal, but how can I do that? Or oh, what can I cook this weekend? I have no idea. Well, you can just uh, go online and you can order a cultural food box. And well, how could it work? Obviously, not everyone is going to love every single cuisine. So uh, we think about two different models. One is a one of box you find the next week is going to be France. Oh, I love it. I just buy a box and it get it delivered. Or the other one is just go into your subscription model. You can get, for example, five boxes in three months. So you just skip that that thing that I ah, don't like Thai food. So you just you only choose those cuisines that you really love, but you get a better price. Um, we know that this, uh, everyone that is uh, about learning new cultures normally uh, really worry about um, what, is, what is the origins of the food. So we want to team up with uh, local farmers, uh, farmers who um, grow all the, all, all the food in an organic way, etc. So try to make it get all the food from local sources as much as possible. Um, and obviously, how can we uh, reach our audience? From the beginning, it's going to be quite difficult to find. Yeah, we can do advertisement, etc. But we think that by uh, teaming with, <coughs> sorry, with TV cooking shows, uh, we can find that people are watching the show on the TV and they find, oh, this recipe is amazing, but how could I find the ingredients? Well, they can go online, click uh, with just one click, get the box delivered to their home. So they don't spend weeks or days just looking for all those ingredients. Thank you. So next time you just decided to try a different dish, just try Culture Chefs and discover the Culture Chef in you. Thank you very much. given into the sort of logistics of putting all this together, mm. especially um, fresh ingredients, for instance. Yeah, uh, we were uh, looking for some, some other existing uh, organic uh, and, um, organizations like uh, River Fork. They already have uh, contact with all the farmers and they have uh, well, all the infrastructure. Some they are kind of the places where they collect food. Some of them just uh, store all the food and deliver it. So the idea will be try to find a partnership so we can deliver, uh, we can be another channel because this is different. Uh, normally the, all the vegetables and, and, and boxes are just uh, baked, baked, that's it. So this is about selling all the, all the different ingredients. So this will be a part, the other part will be teaming or finding, kind of, kind of create a list of, okay, we need Vietnamese food, we need Spanish food, we need to find, and, Actually, there is lots of uh, importers and, and distributors here in London doing that. 
So we try to find all the different ones, and if it's on all for Caribbean, try to find it. Obviously, we'll need a warehouse to, because this will be probably one, two day delivery. So we need a warehouse where we can and not only get all the deliveries for River 4, for instance, Sorry. Uh, but also get all the other ingredients, maybe spices, things like that, and then get it delivered by couriers. Hi. Um, I don't know if you spend a lot of time in Waitrose, but I do. I'm that demographic. <laughs> um, Waitrose does a product where I can buy a box that has vegetables that have been chopped for me, a few pieces of chicken that have already been marinated, yada, yada, yada. And then I can sit at home or in the office, and I can order that from Mikado. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to understand how you're different from that, because I see yeah. a degree of overlap between the two. Yeah, there's, obviously there is a, a lot of similarities, but there are also many different ingredients that you cannot find, or it's really difficult to find, and you have to go uh, sometimes to the bottom market, people doing the research there in the bottom market, and yeah, sometimes you have to go there to a specific place, and maybe you need to live in North London, or you work on the weekend, and there's no way to find this. Uh, so good. the idea will be not doing something that is quite simple, you know, find avocado. But find those ingredients that are really difficult to find. And that uh, you really love to do that, or maybe it's from your country, but there's no way to find it. Yeah, I had something. Hi, it's also about uh, experience. So it's not just to order uh, at lunch uh, at your work, it's maybe on a Sunday. Uh, you can order it and re receive it on the morning. And this is that to prepare and to cook uh, with your friends and then dine together with them and have a great, great time. So you're not envisaging any preparation of the food? I mean, you, you send out the tomato, you don't send out the chopped tomato. Okay. I mean, to <coughs> understand well, it's not really customized. So if I see something in Jamie Oliver and I really like it, and I want that particular thing, I won't necessarily find on, on the service. I would just find pre-prepared or decided um, recipes. Is that, is that right? Because that, that's the big, biggest value for me on that would be like, if I really need that pepper, the German pepper or whatever, I can go on your website, I can find that pepper particularly. Yeah, that you, you find the whole package. All you see on the Alba James Oliver, like all the ingredients, you will get it, but you have to cook it by yourself. And you're going to get the recipe and your video, so you can like watch it also. Yeah, so you don't you don't buy only the pepper. You buy the whole recipe yeah, okay. together. Whole you don't pack. have anything for any kind of recipe. Uh, no, the idea will be uh, teaming with um, one of the TV shows. That obviously, well, ideally, they travel around the world uh, because it's all about learning. The thing is, you learn new cultures as well, being cultural. Uh, so you team up with this and you know that next week on TV is going to be cooking that, that particular recipe, maybe two recipes. Uh, then you prepare all the ingredients for these two recipes and you know the next week you see it on TV, you watch it on TV and you go to deliver it. Have you done any sort of brief? Um, research into who your competitors might be on this? Uh, well, I think that the, I think that there's no competitors, or at least we, we couldn't find it. Obviously, there is all the uh, baby boxes uh, that work really well. And there was something that is encouraging, because we find that, that many policies pay in a lot more for the food, just because it came from uh, uh, organic farmers. Um, so it was great. That's uh, that's a good start, a starting point. But many people say, okay, this is a box full of eggs. It's like I want something different. Um, so I think that there's no competitors, but there's similar ideas that we try to improve. Okay. Uh, thanks very much for the presentation. Have you thought of a team? Of, uh, uh, how you want to take this forward and where this project should go next? Hmm. Uh, well, we haven't think about it really much because I'll, we love the idea, but obviously we know that there is a lot of infrastructure 
There's a lot of uh, finding funding for working uh, maybe a year until you can get this deal with the TV network. So it's difficult, so we need extra, especially someone with business background that can give all the numbers and do it, okay, when do you go break even? Uh, because we need rough numbers, but we don't really know. So I think it's difficult at that point. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.